Hey, you don't need me to explain how navigation menus work. They're dead simple. You add them on, you can have them horizontal, vertical, drop downs, galore. You can do loads of stuff. But what if you want to do something a little bit different? What if we want to have like the navigation bar icon? And rather than you just clicking on it to make a pop up menu appear, what if you just hover over it and a menu appears? And there's no need for a close button because when you move off it, it disappears. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, that's like a mega menu. No, we're not doing a mega menu. We're doing something a little bit different. Now, over here, I've just got a section. I'm just going to drop into here the HTML widget like so. Now, the slight drawback to this is that you are working with HTML. So you might need to think about your coding and what you're doing. However, if you're just going to have items that you could click, this is pretty simple and this is quite versatile in how you could use it. Let me drop into here the HTML some code that I have prepared earlier over here. Let's just drop that in. So this code, when you see it, isn't actually doing anything majorly fantastic at the moment. We have a nav icon and I've got the telegram one. I'm going to change this back to be nav icon in fact. I was testing out some sizes and stuff. That's why I got telegram. But you would put your FF a FFA, FAFA icon identity over here. Okay. So if you want to have an arrow or a chevron or a Facebook symbol, you can do that. Okay. And, and I'm going to come back onto the Facebook thing in a moment. Over here, I've then got my style color. So I'm now, if I was to change this to be uh, black, for instance, it's now gone black. Let's just undo that and put it back to white. And I've also set the font size to be 2REM. Let me show you what happens if I do 1REM. Can you see that? So you can actually modify the size as well. You're doing this all within the, um, the HTML at the moment. Then down here, I'm now defining, let me extend that, what my menu items are. So I've got home, about, services, and contact, okay? And then I've got the words as well, home, about, services, contact. You'll notice the URLs as well, because each one of these is a linked item. You could have items where there is no link if you so wanted, okay? But this kind of works pretty well as it is as well. So we've got four items and this is where it's going. Now at the moment, that looks pretty appalling, doesn't it? And when I hover, nothing's really happening. This is where we go to advanced. And if I scroll down to uh, custom CSS down here, I'm going to drop in another bit of code, which is here. And again, I've been messing around with this code as well, just to get it to do what I wanted. Let's just take that. Let's stick that in. Now, as soon as I add that, can you notice the wording for the menu items has disappeared? Now, right now, you are probably going to say to me, well, we do want to raise the fact that this menu item at the moment has pushed everything in the section down. Don't worry. We can modify and sort that out later, okay? But what we now have is this bit of code here. And this is now going to start to control what we see. Let me show you what happens when we hover over it, okay? When I hover over it, we get a bit of a transparency background. There's like a black overlay going on here. And can you see here, the items have now appeared in vertical order. When I move off it, we disappear. There's no need to hit a close button. When I go back over here, look, these are all linkable items. You can see down there in the bottom right hand side, okay, uh, the, the URLs for these. So these are all linkable items. This is great so far. Now over here, we've got width 200. Let me just show you what happens if I make this be 300, okay? Can you see now it's gone a bit longer uh, in width? Longer, wider even. There we go, I've just set it to 200. That's enough for all I need. I've got my background color. If I take away the last two zeros here, okay, this actually affects the color of the nav bit. Can you see there? We've now got a black circle. So the reason I put double O is because I want that to be fully transparent, okay? So that when it's, I mean, if you want to have a color there, you can do, but I've got it as a transparent, so I could put it anywhere I want on the page. Now, when I hover over it again, we've got a white color for the font. If I was to change this to B, uh, in fact, we'll get rid of the last two there. So we have a double O like that. That should be a yellow color. So that's kind of like, you know, you can start to fine tune what your menu is going to look like. Let's put that back to FF. I've got padding bottom 20. That is the bit below the contact. You see that there? Let me just increase this to be 200. Look at the amount of space below the contact now. So that is now explaining that. Font family, I've gone for railway. I've gone the weight is 600 and the font size is 1.2 REM. So you're doing this all within the code.
Okay, you're not, because you don't have the styling option. So if you're not comfortable with that, play around with it. You'll be okay. This here, though, uh, is a little bit tricky to explain. But what this is doing is um, when you're hovering down, it's actually expanding a circle. Okay, and by me setting the width to be 200, um, you don't need to worry too much about the values in here. It just expands enough. But watch what happens if I expand this to be 500. Okay, so I've set it to be 900. And because it's now off center, can you see now you're getting this curved effect on the outside? So I would say only make it as wide as it needs to be. So I'm gonna just put it back to 200 for now, okay? That is perfectly fine for what it's doing at the moment. And it comes across really nicely in my opinion. Look, I love the transparency bit we got there. The bit of opacity. Right, let's just carry on down. Here's the background color. So if I had changed this to be just a uh, black, it's now gonna be a solid black coming out there, okay? Okay, when it appears, there's like a transition, okay? Don't worry about that, but I've just put 999 in just to make it fully transparent. Not fully transparent, you know what I'm saying there. We've got a ease out, we've got transition duration of 0.7 seconds. We could change that to be 0 0.5, 0 0.2. You can make it even slower. And this is where it's kind of drawing the circle. So the circle is 400 pixels. So if you start to increase your width to be very big, it distorts the circle. So I would say leave that as it is, but you can experiment with that. The next load of settings, this is now to do with the actual text within here. So uh, even though we've got the font size over here is 1.2 REM, I'm saying the line height is three REM. One REM is about 16 pixels. So you can see what's happening there with the line height. You can see that there. And we've got a bit of padding in as well. So I've got 20 pixels there just to pad things out a bit and color inherent. When you hover over the items, okay, you'll notice here, can you see there's a gray color? That is the double two, double two, double two that we've got going on. And the background color, uh, sorry, the color I've also stated is a white as well. So if I was to change this to be um, FF0000, which I think is blue, no, red, sorry, it's red. Can you see now we get a different change in color? So if you wanna be very particular about um, your um, your styling, you can do that. And then for the nav icon, I've got 10 pixel. If I was to change this to be zero, you can see now it's gone all the way to the top. And do you remember I said it's about the circular effect that is growing. Can you see the circle is now cutting into that nav menu there? You might like that effect. I was happy with just the 10. Let's just update that. I'm then gonna, I'm gonna go back up to my uh, advanced and I'm gonna go down to positioning and I'm gonna make this be, sorry, I'm gonna go down this and make this be absolute. And by making this absolute, I can now start to maneuver exactly where this menu is going to sit. So I could, if I want, just uh, pick it up and go, right, it's gonna sit over there on my page. Is that gonna be fit? If you want it to appear there, no matter where you are on the page, make it a fixed. If you want it to sit there for that particular section, make it an absolute. Now, why am I showing you this? What if you pick the Facebook icon, right? And you hover over it and then loads of your Facebook page, your Facebook group, maybe you've got two or three groups you manage, they all pop up with a description. You can now pick which one you're gonna go to. Maybe you've got social sharing icons, you click it and it shows your icons. Maybe you wanna position this to be maybe near this person's foot, like that, there we go. Let's put it near the foot. You hover over it and details pop up. Now, if you wanna start being funky and adding in other icons and other images, next to the wording, there's a bit more HTML work required there. But this you could, let me just go back again, let me now just position it to be right near the person's ear, like that, look. You've now got like this like drop down, and I've got a an overlay background. So if I change this background here to be double O instead of a double nine at the end, when you hover over it, there is now no overlay appearing. I prefer it with the, the overlay. I just find it looks nicer when it appears. It just feels like something is happening on the screen rather than these words just appearing. And you can easily see what it, which area it's working on. Um, this is like a, it's something that could work for some people in quite a funky way. I mean, look, I could, I could put this up here. I can put it wherever I want, right? And if with a bit of HTML, you can start messing around with the alignment, you can make it center, you could do things with it. But it's another way of having a menu, right? I mean, that looks really bad because it's currently over the menu, the, the wording there, but you could have a menu, but there's no need for a close button. 
So I go, I can click now and it'll take me where I want. So I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. The code for this will be in the description. Okay, um, there'll be a link. Go and grab it. Go have a play with it. And I hope you have fun with it. Take care. I'll see you soon.